today we are going to go through some of the decision making steps that a farmer would use in determining whether or not to put fungicide on their peas. And the disease that we're looking at when we're talking about peas is Ascochyta. And it's a disease that shows up kind of now once things are starting to flower and it may or may not be an issue. So there's a few things that are really important when we're considering whether or not to spray a fungicide on peas. And the first thing is we're looking at the stand density. If the rows are closed, if you can actually jiggle the canopy and it will shake a long way out, then there's a rating that we give that and then we would call that in a little bit of a higher risk. The next thing we want to look at is the weather forecast and see and and here in central Alberta, it's a little bit unsettled this week. So that also puts us in a higher risk category. The final thing we want to look for is, is there actually any disease in the canopy? So you want to walk into your crop at a few locations, open it up as much as you can, and then look at the bottom leaves of the plant. So Ascochyte is a disease that starts at the bottom of the plant and with humidity and moisture, it will move up the canopy. And the real danger of it is if it gets really to be a significant disease level, it impacts the standability or the stem strength of your crop, which is one of the reasons why peas fall over. We're gonna notice that right down here at the base of the canopy, we're starting to see some leaves go brown or senesce. And as we move up through some of the younger leaves, we're starting to see that that symptom, that discoloration is progressing upward. And classic symptoms of Ascochyta are these little purple or blackish spots. And they start out as a tiny little spot and they kind of get a little donated ring of dead tissue around them. And eventually they'll just grow and spread. And when we apply fungicide, what we're trying to do is stop that progression up the plant. Um, when disease gets really, really bad, it will actually infect the pods and the seeds and it can impact then the sellability or marketability of the crop. Based on this crop, which has a super thick canopy, we have a ton of yield potential. There's a lot of flowers coming. We're seeing disease starting to move up the stem. We're probably close to halfway up the stem. And looking at the 10 day forecast, we know that there's a lot of potential for thunder showers and some unsettled weather. So on this day, under these current circumstances, I would definitely recommend to protect the yield potential that we've got. Thank you.